What's going on, guys? I'm about to watch Gintama 302. I am definitely into the Shogun assassination arc. It's uh, impossible to stop watching with all the shit that's going on right now. I gotta keep going. I have to see everything that happens. It's, uh, it's pretty intense. So, let's get into it. In three, two, one, play. So the Shogun, maybe, is here? <laughs> I thought, when at first, the woman in the bandages, I thought it was going to be somebody else. Like, one of the main characters was disguised as her. And I was going to say, like, oh, that's the perfect person to disguise as, because she's covered in bandages all the time. Clearly not the case. Clearly she's just betrayed him. But now, he's... Whoa! Good for you, bandage lady. Wow. Holy shit. Momochi. It's cool how these characters were just introduced and they're immediately so cool. So they found out about that already. So this is the real Shogun? I don't believe it. <laughs> I can't be sure. I can't trust anybody. Okay. This might be the real Shogun. We'll see. We'll see. I can't I can't be sure. If he killed a fake shogun, that was just some poor random guy. Unfortunate for that guy. I, 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 I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I didn't think there'd be so much mystery surrounding whether somebody died or not. <laughs> it's weird that they keep this opening, you know? They add stuff to it which I'll go ahead and watch this time. But still, I thought they would have uh, picked a different opening. Because it's still mostly pretty fun. It's a fun opening, but then you watch the show and it's some really dark stuff right now. Oh yeah, look at all this. Yeah, that kind of would have spoiled Okita versus... Kamui a little bit, which I'm glad I didn't see because when that happened, I was like, oh shit It showed Momochi and that guy You guys gonna fight? Oh boy. Ooh. Okay Okay, so maybe that's all it was. Maybe it was about faking the death. But he seemed so serious. He seemed so serious. And maybe that was just to fool the audience and Mizo. But maybe it's because it was actually real and you just think it was fake. Oh my god, what the fuck? I still think the Shogun is dead. But I'm only like 60-40. I was more sure before. He might not be dead. Is she a robot? What the fuck? What the hell? Is Momochi not a real person? Are you the real are you the real one in charge and that's just a robot? You just shot a fucking laser. Oh my what the hell has happened? That's not a ninja technique. That's like late Naruto ninja techniques when they were just like shooting nukes and they weren't actually ninjas anymore. If that's ninja, or oh, is that, that's just artillery. It's, no, it's not ninja at all. Okay, I guess that's Momochi. Wow. Ninja soul. The Sage of Six Paths. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Momochi's cool. I like her. What a cool little twist for a character. What a what a amazing 
design for all of this. Wow. Oh my god, that's disgusting. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Fuck you, Konkuro. Sasori, you Naruto bastards. This girl is way cooler than them. I like this girl a lot. Of course I do, she's in Gintama. Sorachi has a knack for those female characters. Okay. A trap. Yeah, be careful. Oh my god. Oh, oh. Oh, Hunter Hunter. Okay, that makes it feel like this is the real Shogun. Okay, well, all right. Well, it seems like this is the real Shogun. Okay. They could be lying just to... Thinking the Shogun is still alive to give them morale and motivation. Or he actually is alive, and this is all genuine. Oh yeah, it's a lot bigger than that. So we had to fake his death. That makes sense too. My theory I think made sense, but this makes sense too. Kill the Shogun so that he can just be Shige Shige. And that'll let him go retire on a farm somewhere, which is what I said I wanted for him. Yeah, exactly. Protect the man. Right. He's kind of sacrificing himself as the man who killed the Shogun. Because he did. He killed the Shogun. He didn't kill Shige Shige. Okay, okay. Now I'm 80-20 that the Shogun is alive. <laughs> what a roller coaster of emotions. Maybe even 90-10. He seems like he's alive. My idea was good, I think, but this makes sense. So it's not Harry Potter, it's something else where somebody took on the role of the villain, Code Geass, whatever. It's the first thing that came to mind. Oh boy, here comes the boy. We gotta have a fight. The other ninja head guy, did he fucking die? He got hit by a huge laser. I don't know, I'd like to see more of him. But Momochi's cool as fuck, so I'm good with her. Okay, yeah. He wants to destroy everything. That's all he ever says. It's literally the one line of dialogue that he's ever had. So, he's not gonna stop. <laughs> Hello? Abuto. That's his name. <laughs> Why is he hiding? There you go. Okay. I guess he just, he didn't want him to know that he was with Takasugi. Yikes. Yeah. He's a rarity. Damn. 
Oh boy, he's mad. All right, well, he had his little fight already. Uh, I want to destroy everything. Oh, Hattori! Takasugi's always got layered plans here. Guess he knows what he's doing. How is he going to get out of this one? Somebody come help him. Okay, they all blew up. Oh my god. Alright. He didn't even need help. Your big dongs. Oh shit, oh, okay. Yeah, you guys, go ahead and have a little fight. How are you gonna get up there, Sachan? Don't let him die at all. Oh, Shogun. Okay, I'm pretty it's pretty much a hundred percent that this is the real Shogun. Oh ninety nine percent. Just in case. <laughs> yeah, it's him. Okay. Whoa. They're doing this for you, so you're just going to have to deal with it. Okay. Good for him. I know it's hard to have them out there dying for you. Uh, but you, we need to protect you, though. Matsudaira? Oh no, I wasn't sure whose voice that was. It's Abuto. Kagura? Rematch? Maybe. 
Maybe a rematch against Abuto. Uh, sorry, ninjas. Not happening. Oh, so yo, at least she's over here safe. Doesn't have to deal with it. He got pretty messed up, but uh, it'll be okay. Damn. What a badass. He's a crazy man. He's a sadist. But yeah, he's a badass. You can't take that away from him. Oh. Okay. Well, there you go. Unless it's all a trick. There's still a... Not, is 99% sure that the Shogun is alive, but I will hold out that 1% chance. But yeah, apparently there's a scar representative of their, their bond, so okay. Okay, I believe it. And I'm sure we'll see the scar on the real one soon damn hottery whoa okay A little scratch it'll be okay wow that's something heavy to have to take on when you're a kid. Oh, yeah. Oh, fucking Sada Sada. Get out of here. Why do we have to see him again? Ugh. Ugh. You have to get accustomed to that life from a young age that people are going to throw down their lives for you. And you just have to make sure their sacrifices are worth it. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, he always wanted to help the people who were trying to help him. Oh, this is so cool getting these flashbacks of them as kids and their little Naruto team. Wow. And that's the scar right on the right over the heart. Perfect. The Shogun got injured to save the double. How unusual. Maybe that double is the one that Hattori killed. To repay the Shogun all these years later. Yeah, teach him to defend himself. That's good. It's important. Oh, damn. Is the Shogun going to come save Hattori? Holy shit. Oh, they keep coming. Yeah, got to re-jump during class.
Right. He's got to go back to being Shogun again. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Hey, it's Choji. I'll protect you. Fight together. Yeah. Oh my god. He's going to he's going to come help him. He has to. It won't be your last. Yep, 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 I was right. Yep, he's the one that he beheaded. Yeah, that's a great idea. I mean, that sucks for him, but that's such a great idea. He's the one that he saved as a kid, and he repaid him all those years later. Oh, man. So, yeah, there you go. Obviously, 100% that the Shogun is alive. What if he dies anyway? That would suck. God damn Hattori. You're not you're not going to die, right? Oh my god, fuck. I've been like sure that he wasn't going to die. But this is this is a lot. This is a lot of damage. I know it's a shonen. So, you know, people can survive crazy sh Oh. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, all right, we're good. I was like, did he just get white bearded? Did he just get stabbed like 100 times all over? White beard is a lot more than that, but you know what I'm going for. Yes! All right. Shogun couldn't quite get here just yet, but Sachan could. Woo! Oh my god. This is insane. This is crazy shit. So yeah, my idea was Hattori was making himself the villain, and the Shogun sacrificed his life for some kind of greater cause. It's only half of that was correct. But this this is good. The, the way this is all working out is a good idea. And we'll see where it all goes. Like, the Shogun being killed would have been crazy like that. But this is good, too. This is really good, and I have no idea where it'll go, so we'll, we'll see. But yeah, there's just so much fucking crazy act. Like, all of a sudden! Like, this is... This is it's not it, because there's still so much more to come. There's so many other arcs. But, like, so much that's been built up. With the Shogun, Takasugi, Kamui, like, this is, this is it, in a way. This is, it's crazy that it's just happening. You know, you get all these, I just watched an arc where Kagura was an idol. And they brought a bunch of porta-potties. That's what was happening recently. And now, it's amazing. You watch these comedy arcs about poop, and then immediately go over to this, and it just makes it so much stronger. Wow. But, like, where does this go? Because, again, they can't just, like, beat Takasugi and Kamui and then they're done forever. It's going to carry on into the rest of the show for sure. Oh, boy. Well, part four next time. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you then.